Hey everyone, this is Rachel from The Life Facilitator and I am going to do a plan with me today. Um, I'm going to be planning in my Hobonichi weeks um, and I'm going to be using um, some stickers from Coco Daisy, the September book club kit. Um, so I'm going to be planning the week of the 2nd through the 8th and um, before I get started on this I actually wanted to show you how I'm storing all my stickers this month. Um, so the first way is I have all my Hobonichi Weeks stickers in um, this uh, pocket that I made with two dashboards um, and then stuck another little clear pocket on the back that has washi and then the notepad in it, some of the notepad in it. Um, so these are going to be the stickers I'm mostly going to be using for the spread today, seeing how they are. Daisy Weeks stickers, they're meant to fit in the Hobonichi Weeks, however you could use them for really any planner. Um, because they're so teeny tiny, um, really, literally any planner you could use these for. Um, which makes them super versatile, so I'm excited to use those today. But I also wanted to share um, how I'm storing the rest of my stickers for the month. Um, so I made, um, I went like folder dashboard crazy this month, and I made a dashboard with the A5 dashboards, two of the A5 dashboards, and then uh, washi taped them together. And these hold my bigger stickers. Um, and so uh, I have my big sticker that uh, sticker sheet that comes in the planner kit. Um, yeah, and then um, behind that I have uh, the uh, planner sticker kit. And then on the other side I have my um, memory keeping st uh, stickers on the side. So um, I cut them all up last month and put them in here and found that I actually prefer to have them kind of in their regular size and I definitely filled this a different way. So um, that's how I'm storing my big sticker sheets for the month. And then um, I am using the sticker book that came, uh, or sticker album that came with the um, August kits. Um, may possibly the add-on kit. Um, and this month I've decided to, um, and I'm actually going to continue to do this, break them up by functional uh, calendar. So either letters, alphas, and numbers and days of the week. Um, functional, which is mostly like icons, to-do lists, these sorts of things. And then decorative. Um, so these are ones that are really just sort of meant to make your page look cute, um, including... Uh, the die cuts. Um, so I've added, I've used my Xyron sticker maker and I've made all of my die cuts stickers and so I can just pull from them when I need them in the this sticker album. And then um, for now I also have the tabs, what's left of them, <laughs> and then um, the uh, pocket cards. Um, it's usually like halfway through the month before I really figure out how I want to use these. Um, and so that's that. And then I also store older printable, uh, these are from the printables and they're like the uh, label stickers and some other labels that I may pull from as well. So lots of options for stickers. Um, but we're not going to stop there. I also kind of want to stamp, so we may stamp in this. We may not. I haven't decided yet. So, um, yeah, so that's that, and we'll get started with this plan with me. Literally the day that I planned this plan with me and filmed it uh, was the day that I received my new print impression cover. Um, so my planner's in a different cover right now. Just if you see, if you look at the blog post, you'll see it's in a different cover. I'm going to do a pl quick flip through of the last few weeks of planning before I get started. And here we go. So to start, I'm going to add the date covers. Um, and I don't know if I will do this every week. Um, I do 
like how these date covers look. I like that the, the colors are different each day. Um, but I also would be happy leaving them off too, especially since this is a dated planner. Um, it does take a little bit of time. Um, and so if I was in a rush planning, I would probably leave off the date covers. Um, also, you could use easily use these date covers in another undated planner too, which, which is helpful. Um, and they fit perfectly, which is amazing. And then um, I'm going to add the washi to the bottom uh, on the left side and then to the top on the right side. I like to have it alternate um, so that it's not super matchy on the page. I also am not going to use, I'm not going to cover everything um, because I need, this, this planner is quite small and so I, I want as much of the white space as possible. Um, I'm going to add the dates, <laughs> and I'm checking the dates from the previous week. Um, I love that they're clear date stickers, number stickers. That's so helpful. And they come off the page really nicely, although I'm about to botch up one of them. Um, I think it's the five. It, like, peeled off while I was peeling off the four, but that was just user error. So as, a, as I'm doing this, I'll talk a little bit about this, this current week. And um, I have a trip to New Orleans with my sister-in-law and her daughters uh, this week. And so um, I need to add that into, onto my planner planning pages. We also were supposed to have some friends in town for Labor Day. However, with uh, Hurricane Dorian, uh, we decided it was best for them to not try to fly to Florida when everybody else is trying to get out of Florida. Um, and so that will be, I will, you, you'll see actually after I post this, how I update that on, the, on my planner page. Um, I'm adding a few of the uh, check boxes and I'm alternating their location. Um, the Hobonichi Weeks has the left-hand page very, very minimally marked um, with three sections, um, which is helpful to sort of, if you wanted to section off the page, you could do that pretty easily. So those two check marks are, or the checklists are where two of the sections are. This kit this month is uh, book, coffee, tea themed, and I'm just, I'm loving it. It's so cute. And the colors are so, like, I, right right up my alley for this time of year. And especially, it's kind of fall-ish without being overly fall, um, which is good for me being in Florida where, I mean, I, mean, I this is my first fall in Florida, but I don't think we're going to get much fall. Right there, I'm adding, cutting up the Girls' Night Out stickers to mark um, a likely hangout night with um, my sister-in-law. Um, the other theme of this kit is the birds and the owls and the birds. And um, I really like, <laughs> I love all the little characters. They're so cute. Um, and so I added that to that top corner or top section of the right hand side of the page. Um, I, when I'm planning in this, I tend to do some sort of deco de um, in that top uh, part of like where the binding is. Um, it's not an area I want to write um, and so I usually decorate up there. I also decided um, because I'm uh, going away for the weekend to um, decorate the bottom with uh, four of the birds and owls to mark off um, all of us, or all, well, actually, yeah, all of us on our little trip together. Um, and uh, that just makes me smile. Now, every time when I open my planner to see, oh, there's, there's us at the bottom of the page. Here's me adding the information about uh, our friend's supposedly leaving town on the second, um, but they, or sorry, on the third, but that, 
they never came into town, so that, that'll be covered over or removed. Um, so one of the things I'm loving about the Hobonichi Weeks Planner is uh, that uh, there's the sort of calendar side on the left-hand page and then the very open do-what-you-want side on the right-hand page. And I've been using this a couple different ways, but generally because this is a on-the-go planner, um, it's usually... I've, I have found that the best thing to put on this page is a really brief to-do list, usually uh, finance related, so um, bills that are due or uh, shopping lists. And so I decided to add on the bottom half a grocery section, and I'm using the um, some of the four box check, spot, check boxes to create my shopping list. So the first section, the top section will be produce. The next section will be cold slash frozen things. And then the bottom section is aisle. Um, and that just is the easiest way for me to make a shopping list and one that actually is helpful um, rather than a really extensive list. Typically, I'm if I'm grocery shopping, I'm basically buying the same things. And so it's usually in one of those sections, um, so that helps. Um, I'm, the two things I'm tracking this week, which I've been tracking for the last couple weeks, are exercise and uh, Instagram posting, um, just to remind myself to do it um, and to have a place to mark off that I did do it. Heading the clear shopping list text to the bottom. I don't know why I need, I mean, I didn't need it, but it just looks cute. Um, up top, I'm going to add a pay bill section, so I'll have three bills that will go in there. And they're not necessarily due this week, but they're things that I need to be aware of that, that they're coming up. And then a to-do, a really brief sort of kind of the most important to-dos for the week will go there. I have a more extensive running to-do list in another section of this planner, um, but those are the that's the area like at the end of the week you should have done these three things. The owl looked like he was floating so I wanted to make a little little foundation for him. <laughs> and then I'm going to add just I'm going to note that um, I will be heading to New Orleans and luckily uh, I think I will still be able to go. Um, and I'm going to add um, on the other side of the shopping list, I will add a menu plan. The Hobonichi Weeks kit comes with two like knife and fork stickers, um, and I'm going to add another one from the add-on kit. Um, last month I tried to really split up my stickers and only use kit, uh, stickers from certain kits. And I found that I, that just wasn't very helpful for me. It's better to have them kind of all out. If I've got them, I should use them. So, And then add, um, this is me adding my blog post due date. And I will be wrapping up pretty soon. So thanks for watching. And um, I hope you enjoyed this. Like and subscribe and make sure to check out the blog post that goes with this video. Thanks!